Morning. Hello, little one. Hey, what time did your daddy get in last night, eh? I didn't hear the door go. He ain't come home yet, has he? I told him to have a good time and stay as long as he liked. Flippin' heck. She's finally been discovered, <laughs> has she? The perfect wife. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, take it easy. The doctor said not to move if you can help it. You're gonna be all right, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's like there's nothing broken. No thanks to your scally of a boyfriend. I thought you said you didn't see who jumped you. Well, I've got a pretty good idea. Carl, you can't tell the bills. He said it was Tim. He's up in court this morning. Oh, the poor little hooligan. Please, Carl, he's in enough trouble as it is. If you drop a minute, he'll never get out. You said you didn't see you jumped her. Please call. I'll do anything. Oh. How long have I been asleep? About a couple of hours. hear of people trying to commit suicide over their breakfasts. Don't make a joke out of it, Max. You are going to do it, weren't you? Yeah. Yes, I was. Everything's been verified and everything's you saved actually my life. in the schedule. I am so sorry. You had a decent night's sleep because I didn't. So what do you want? Yeah? Um, I just want you to know you've got the wrong idea about all this Shelley nonsense. So you didn't spend the night with her? Just leave me alone, okay? Jackie! You see me dressing gown? Um, hang on a sec, love! He's got it into his head. He wants to take Wills and Kylie to Santa's Grotto. He wants you to come. How can I go? And how can you go on playing super mum after what you've done? I haven't done anything. Shelley was the best relationship I've ever had. In fact, she was my best ever mate. I've never been any good at making mates, have I? She was everything I wanted in my life. And you ruined it. I never used to understand the way that people could get wound up about the meaning of life and death. I just used to carry on. <laughs> just muddle through somehow being me. I've never thought or felt deeply about anything till this. Just kept skimming along the surface. I'm not getting you. What if nothing counts for anything? Susanna lived and she died for no reason. What was it all for? Why did it have to end like that? Why did you take the lid off the coffin? Who 
managed to see Susanna's face again. You know, you never get the true sense of a person from a photograph or a video. It seemed like a good way to remember. I suppose you find that a bit creepy. Shall I make us another cup? <laughs> Just wish you knew what had happened. You know, Methony's the one I saw now. Try phoning again. I don't mind the bill, go on. No, it, it, it's that confusing. They ring in town, sounds like our engaged town. I, I don't even know whether I'm getting through. Oh, here you are. Have another tissue. As you never came to bed, I figured I might as well come and find you myself. I've got to get this one settled down. Sorry. I forgot this was the Beverly McLaughlin Centre for Distressed Homosexuals. Was that the sound of music I heard blasting out? Yeah, it usually lifts me spirits. Oh, look, I'm sorry, Dave. We'll clear off out your way. No, you won't. We are staying up till we find out what's happened. Isn't it obvious? What? Fred. He's found a better cut of meat down in Rio. Oh, God, what if he's right? Hey, you just butt out! Oh, Lance, is the best a man can get, OK? Bev. I'll be in the second. Come here, let it all out. What's happened? Nothing. Nothing. We need to keep our heads. Stick to the same story. Yeah? We got a taxi. Me, you and I, Clint. Mike was bladdered. He just wandered off. No idea where. Mike, anyone's gonna believe a word of that. Mike, you see it. In court today, aren't you? A couple of months and you'll be out. If you crack on your rob that car, they'll throw the book at you. They'll send you straight back and you won't see Emily for years. She'll end up getting herself sorted out somewhere else. Properly this time. And what happens if Dicko says something? What if he doesn't? Nah, it wasn't that bad. We're all okay, aren't we? And he's only sitting next to me. Yeah, well, see how it goes, eh? Everything I've done the last 20 years has been connected to Susanna. <laughs> Always at the back of my mind. Whenever I do something, it's... That'll impress Susanna. That'll show Susanna. Susanna will just hate this. But now that she's gone, I don't know what I'm going to do. And so Father Christmas, or Santa, as he was known to his friends, was able to deliver his big bag of presents after all. <laughs> do you like that, son? Yeah? Hi, love. All right? Are you coming down to Santa's Grotto with us kids today? Yeah, come on, Mum. It'll be great. I've, um, I've got to make up my shifts at the garage, Dad. Oh. I thought you said you could get someone to cover for her. Yeah, it is short notice, love. Kylie, take Will's upstairs and get your coat. Go on, son. Good lad. Ah, oh, it's a shame, now. Thought we could have all gone together. Oh, I'd love to have gone, Dad, but I've got to work extra hours, you know, to get Kylie a Christmas presents. I mean, you know, she's got to have the right sports top or she'd be the laughing stock of all the kids. And it's dead expensive. I'll see you later. Please, Paul. Tim went wild last night, but he'd never have jumped yet. I know him, you don't. Is this the same Tim that went for me in the club a couple of hours earlier? That was only because you were with me right in front of him. Look, he'd never have done that. He wouldn't have wasted four years and planned it. Everything that happened in that club, it was all my fault. I was only doing it to one item more. Doing what? You know, playing with you. I'm not sure I care to be a prop in your little dramas if this is where it gets me. You're just lucky you chose someone so well-adjusted and nice. Hey. Well, I think of certain mates of mine, they'd be pretty angry about what you'd done. You really love that little get, don't you? How about we make a deal? I won't say anything if you come down to the studio sometime and we take some photos. Is that it? Yeah, that's all. 
Only designs have got on you for making a lot of money. Huh? Yeah. I believe that a lot of many like your look. Better get off. He's due up in court soon, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Colin. I owe you one. Yeah, I know you do. Hello. Hi, hi. What's going on here, then? Listen, I'm getting off to work, so when our Michael does come home, would you ask him to call in later? Some, uh, Christmas arrangements to sort out, if you know what I mean. I will. See you later, Mr Dixon. Um, no, that's him. Mr Dixon! Yeah? I'm afraid your son's been involved in a car crash. Michael! Rach! Rach, it's all, Mike. There's been a car crash. I bumped into Johnny Geddes from uni. He let me keep her ears up. And then... That's and Johnny Geddes got a phone. Yeah, I'm sorry, Nick. It's just I forgot. I was well out of it. The state, yeah. We haven't been to bed all night. Well, I've been up till about six, yeah. Doing what? Doing the EDs with Johnny. I have visions of you lying dead in the gutter. I missed you last night. So I'll be out there with him in the club. Don't feel like sleeping on my own. Thought I looked mingling this morning. Do you think Emily's going to show up? And if she can get away from her nan. Well, I went over there this morning and she didn't come home last night either. You what? That's a lie for her. Say she stayed at her mates. Well, if you want to stuck the knife in about me and that girl. Yeah, all right, mate. She was only doing what she thought was right. Anyway, I wouldn't hold your hopes up too high. Last night, saw her, she was with that car fella. That's Rach. Any news? Can we go in and see him? No, not yet. Still running tests. I want to know what he was doing in the stolen car. You were with him. What happened? Dad. Oh, we've been trying to get a taxi. We've been waiting for ages. He just wandered off. He was absolutely bladded. I mean, one minute he was there, the next he wasn't. That's not Fred's number. Oh, I know what. I'm phoning his friend, Conchita. Well? It's ringing. Yeah, it's ringing, I think. Oh. Why can't there be one set of tones the world over? It's like the judgment on Babel. Bev, are you going to go oh, down? I've, I've got through. Shh, I've got through. Conchita, babe. Hey, você? Cochina, onde está Frederico? Oh, my God, he speaks Brazilian. Ocupaso, no apareceu, no rapporto. Legal prova, você? Bev. Are you going to go down or am I? Um, go down with you. I've got to see what's happened here. Poca. What's all the noise? The uh, gay gaucho didn't Maria. turn up. You go okay? Go Mr. Have a Ciao. Well? He got stopped by immigration in London. Never. Why? Oh, they thought he was bogus. That he was going to try and stay on. Oh, well, why didn't they get him to call you to check? Oh, I was called from a box. You know, I don't want to run Max's bill up. He had no number. Must have looked dead fishy. Oh, no. There's nothing he could do. Got him get a refund on his ticket. Just had to go all the way back. How would they do that to him? Fingers crossed, they. Tim! Oh, I am. How are you? Okay. Oh, uh, we'll leave you two along for a bit, yeah. Would you hold me mum off a sec? No problem. I'm so glad that you're here. Wait a minute. I want to know a couple of things. Last night, the car got jumped out to the club. You what? I just spent the night with him down at the Aussie. It had nothing to do with you. I never did that, no. I swear. I swear? Someone wrapped his car and crashed it too. You don't reckon it was me, do you? I mean, I got a taxi home with the Moffat boys. They work me all the time. I promise. Of course I do. Don't you trust me? Of course I trust you. 
So, what about you and Carly? It's come down to the Aussie, that's all. Look, last night, me and him, it was just a show. The same with me and that girl. I was just trying to prove to myself that I got over you. I'm in court. 10.30. Come on. I've got 20 minutes. There was loads of people coming out of this club, you see, Jacqueline. Yeah, there were hundreds. Yeah, well, somebody must have seen our Michael getting into that car. Maybe they got a good look at who was driving. Maybe. Mrs. Dixon, the doctor will see you now. Jack, do you mind if we get off for a bit? Something we need to sort out. Yeah, you go. And thanks for coming. I'll speak to you later. Yeah, sit down. Ah, you got yourself all nice and smart, too. Yeah. And it wouldn't be in this mess only for there. Listen, you've got the wrong idea about my sister. She's been through a hell of a lot. I saw plenty of other people. What a look at us enough to tell anyone what she is. She's just a 17-year-old girl. Do you know what happens to fellas when they see silly little girls like your sister all dollied up? Well, her brains go AWOL. They go down to the trousers. I've known Emily all her life. She's a good person. Forget what she looks like. Oh, come off it, love. Who's up in court today? She doesn't care one jot for my Tim. Here's your present. Have a very merry Christmas. Bye. Thank you. Santa brings the presents, Kylie, on his sleigh. What do you want for Christmas, Grandad? I think Santa can cross me off the list for the chimney at number 10 Brookside Close, this crimbo, Kylie. Because this man's already had the best present he's ever going to get. Because I've got my lovely son, William. My granddaughter, Kylie. My daughter, Lindsay. But best of all, Santa. I've got Jacqueline Corker. My beautiful, devoted wife. So, no presents for me this year, Kylie. Because how could I want anything? I've got Jackie Corker in my world. If you have any sense, you'll turn round and walk straight back out again. I didn't get much sleep. Guilty conscience? Yes. What are you doing here? Oh, why do you keep appearing in my face? <clears throat> because I want you to know the truth. I don't know what Jackie's told you. Why, well, she didn't go into the precise details of how you converted her now. She told you that I love her. I've been in love with her ever since I've known her. Oh. How can you be in love with me, Mum? Oh, I don't know. Why does anyone love anyone? I just do. And I, I really think it could work for us. Because she's a married, middle-aged woman, that's why. Whose marriage isn't even working, Lindsay? Perhaps never did. Oh, and suddenly you're the expert on my parents' relationship. Well, I know that Jackie's in denial. You're sick. Is that your purpose in life to go around converting people? Like some lazy missionary? Just listen to me, please. Get out! Or I'll smack you. Listen, Beth, I'm really sorry about all the commotion I caused. I'll make it up to you. I'll do the bar all over Christmas. No, you won't. Christmas has come early for you. Your fairy godmother's waved her old wand. What's this? Return flight to Rio. Uh, how did you get this? Up down the travel agents in Manor Park. Special deal. I can't. What is the point of having all my dosh if I can't spread a bit of happiness? Now, you are going tomorrow, so you better start packing now for a change of mind and stick it on top of that tree. Timothy O'Leary! Where have you used to be? 
phone, Miss Hawkins. You're all good. Come on. Oh, she's on. The important thing is that you forget you saw anybody getting into that car. Why should I? Because if you get me into serious body, you won't be able to tell all my heater. So you want me to lie? Top marks. What if Mike smashed up bad, eh? Look, if you don't keep your mouth shut, you'll be joining him down that hospital. Understood? I have taken into account the mitigating factors pleaded by your counsel. Your guilty plea does you credit. But the fact remains that these were serious offences, and not your first. Mr. O'Leary, two and a half years ago, you were given another chance in this very court. You have squandered that chance. Worse, you misled a young teenager, a young girl, and encouraged her to victimize and distress a quite innocent woman. You could have set a good example to her. Instead, you displayed to her the worst possible standards of behavior. In these circumstances, I feel it appropriate to pass a custodial sentence. And given the level of aggression and disregard for others you have shown, I sentence you to nine months in prison. Take him down. Nine months? He doesn't deserve that. It was me who started it. Say, he's going to be all right, isn't he? It's serious. Of course, Richard. They've done a scan on him. It says there's some damage to his spine. They said that if he makes it through, there's a good chance that he'll be in a wheelchair. 